Welcome back, Grade 10 Math. We're going to continue with Chapter 5 today. Um, chapter 5 is about quadratic expressions. We're going to do Section 5.2. Um, it's special products. Okay. In Section 5.1, we learned how to multiply binomials. In this section, we're going to learn about some some special cases when we're multiplying binomials. Okay. So, first off, we're going to learn about perfect square trinomials. Okay. Before we learn the rule for that. Let's just work on expanding these two um, using what we know about the FOIL method. Okay, so what we have right here, x plus three squared. Okay, a number squared we remember means um, it's being multiplied by itself. Okay, so we could rewrite x plus three squared as x plus three times x plus three. Okay. Anything squared means it's being multiplied by itself, so x plus 3 squared is x plus 3 times x plus 3. In order to simplify this, okay, in order to expand it and simplify, we can use the FOIL method. Okay, we remember the FOIL method means multiply the first terms, then the outside terms, then the inside terms, and then the last terms. Okay, if we do that, the first term in the first binomial times the first term in the second binomial gives us x squared. Okay. And the outside terms, x times 3, gives us a positive 3x. The inside terms, 3 times x gives us another positive 3x. Okay, and then the outside terms, 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, if we collect our like terms, we get x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay, if we look at our answer here, okay, x squared plus 6x plus 9, Okay, if we look at that, and then we refer it back to um, the original binomial that is squared. Okay, look at the first term in this binomial x. Okay, if we square that x, that gives us the first term in our answer. If we look at the second term in the binomial, the three. If we square that three, that gives us the last term in our binomial. Three squared is nine. And then this middle term. Okay, if I multiply the two terms in the binomial by each other, three times x. And then I double that, 3x doubled is 6x. Okay? So just keep that trend in mind. Okay? Now let's do x minus 6 squared. Okay? We can rewrite that as x minus 6 times x minus 6. Let's go ahead and expand that. Doing our, I'll do this, the arrows in a different color. The first terms, the outside terms, the inside terms, and the last terms. Okay? So if I go ahead and do all of those multiplications, I will get x squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 36. Simplify this. Collect the like terms. I get x squared minus 12x plus 36. Okay? Once again, if I compare this answer, to our original binomial that is being squared. If I square the first term of the binomial, that gives me the first term of my answer. If I square the second term of the binomial, okay, if I square the 6, that gives me um, the last term binomial, okay. And then if I multiply these two terms, okay, the x and the 6, and I double it, that gives me 12x, okay. But instead of a addition sign here, I have a subtraction sign, okay? Because in the original binomial there is a subtraction. Okay? Good. So you could think of it as um, the middle term. You multiply the x times the negative six, that gives us negative six x, and then double that, that gives us negative twelve x. Okay? So keeping all of that in mind, we can we can write some rules for this for when we have a binomial being squared. Okay? So when we have a binomial squared, so if we have a plus b squared, our answer will be a squared plus double the product of a and b, so plus 2 times a times b, plus b squared. Okay. But if we have a minus b squared, that will give us a squared, so the first term squared, minus double the first term times the second term, plus b squared. Okay. So those are our rules. Okay. So when we have a binomial squared, it results in a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so that's why the rule is called perfect square trinomials. Okay.
Okay. So if we simplify the same questions that we just did here, but we use the rule, okay, let's see, let's make sure we get the same answer. Okay. So remember that that's our A value and this is our B value. Okay. So let's plug that in into our um, our formula here. Okay. So we know that x plus three squared will equal a squared. A is x will equal x squared. Okay. Plus two times a is x. B is three. Plus b squared. B is three. Plus three squared. Okay. Simplify this. X squared plus two times x times three is six x. Okay, order of multiplication doesn't matter, so we'll do the two times the three gives us six x, and then three squared is nine. If we look back to our original question over here, good, that's the same answer. Okay, so when we expanded it using our FOIL method, we got the same answer as when we just plugged it into our nice little rule here. Okay, for perfect square trinomials. Let's try the next one as well and make sure we get the same answer. Okay. So we have x minus 6 squared. Okay. So if we look at our rule, so we're going to do, I'll do this one in blue so we know we're looking at the blue uh, rule here. Okay. So we have x minus 6 squared. So we're going to use the rule where the binomial has a subtraction sign in it. Okay. So x minus 6 squared, x is our a value, 6 is our b value. Okay. Plug that into our formula here, a minus 2ab a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So a is x. So x squared minus 2 times our a value is x. Our b value is 6. Plus b squared b is 6. Okay. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and simplify. x squared minus 2 times x times 6 will give us negative 12 x plus 6 squared is 36. Let's make sure that we got that same answer. And good. x squared minus 12x plus 36. x squared minus 12x plus 36. Good. So that rule works. Okay. So these are our two rules for perfect square trinomials. If you are ever asked to expand and simplify a binomial that is squared, you can just use these rules. Okay. So let's go ahead and practice those. So applying the perfect square trinomial pattern. Okay, so we have an a minus a b squared. Okay, so this is our a value, this is our b value. We remember our rule. Okay, our rule is a minus b squared is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, let's plug everything into the formula that we know. Okay. So x minus 7 squared is equal to x squared minus 2 times x times 7 plus 7 squared. Okay. Simplify that. We get x squared minus 14x plus 49. Good. If you had have tried um, expanding and simplifying this using the FOIL method, you should get that same answer. Okay, now let's do the next question where we have an a plus a b squared. Okay, remember our rule we have a plus b squared, we get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, so the only difference in these two rules are the minus and the plus there, okay, between the a squared and the 2ab, okay? So if we have an a minus a b squared, this is the rule we use. If we have an a plus a b squared, we use the rule that has the plus in it, okay? Let's go ahead and finish off this question, plug in everything we know. So x plus 6 squared is x squared plus 2 times a times b, a and b are x and 6, so x times 6, plus b squared, or b is 6. Good. So if we simplify, that gives us x squared plus 12x plus 36. And there's our 
answer for expanding x plus 6 squared. Okay, good. Last example for this. Okay, so we have an a and a b. Remember our rule, we have a plus b squared. That gives us a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, plug everything in we know. So that this gives us, in this case, you're going to want to remember to put your brackets in, okay? So 3x goes in for a. 3x is our a value, so we have 3x squared plus 2 times our a value is 3x times b, our b value is 7y. Oh, I wrote an x. should be a y there, plus 7 y, good, plus b squared. b is 7y. Okay, so I plugged every time I saw an a, I replaced it with a 3x. Every time I saw a b, I replaced it with a 7y. Okay, and I put them all in brackets. That way I know I'm not just squaring the x, I'm squaring the 3x. Okay, if I square the 3x, this square applies to the x and the 3, so that gives me 9x squared. Okay, then remember my bed mass rules, before I can add or subtract anything, okay, I have to do this multiplication. Okay, doesn't matter the order of multiplication. 2 times 3x will give me 6x, and I still have to multiply that by 7y, okay. And then 7y squared gives me 49y squared. Okay, because I apply the square to the y and to the 7. I can continue simplifying. Okay, 9x squared plus 6x times 7y. 6 times 7 is 42. x times y is just xy. Okay, plus 49y squared. There's my final answer for that one there.